Hey guys, welcome back to another quick Premiere Pro tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how easy it is to duplicate clips in Premiere Pro. I'll show you a couple variations on how we can do this and a couple more tips along the way that will speed up your editing process. So here we go. The quickest way to do this is to simply hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard while you drag the um, copied clip wherever you want it to go. So you can drag it onto the same um, audio and video track as you had it before, or you can drag it up to a different uh, video track. Anywhere you want it to go um, is fine. So you can see how quick and easy that is. That's all there is to it. It's quicker than doing copy and paste, and you have a little bit more control control because you can visually see where that new clip is going to land. So what about text in your video? Can you do this the same way? The answer is yes, you can. So here I have a text layer and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold down alt or option on my keyboard. I'm going to slide that text to a new location and then there you go. It's the same exact clip as before. So if you wanna change what the text says, all you have to do is go down to your new clip, double click on it, and then however you created this clip, in my case, I created it using the Essential Graphics panel, um, you'll go over there and change the text as you want it to be. And so now when I come back over here and click on my timeline, you can see that it updated this new clip to be the new text that I want and it um, saved my old clip. So now I was able to keep all the same effects that I had from this animated text um, and copy and paste it over here using the alt key um, and just change the text and it has all the same properties as before. This holds true for other things as well. So in this case, for example, I have some color adjustments on this adjustment layer above this clip. So if I wanted to use the same color correction on these clips over here, I would just hold down Alt, slide this adjustment layer over, make it longer, and now my clips are going to match. They're gonna have the same color correction that I had over here at the beginning. So you begin to see how, um, how much time you can save using the Alt shortcut to duplicate clips in other layers um, as opposed to using copy and paste. When you copy and paste, you have to be really careful about source patching. Um, and what that means is that you don't want to copy and paste on top of another layer that already exists. So without getting into too much detail there, it's just simpler and easier to use the alt button and completely see where your new clip is going to go in the timeline. One more thing that is helpful with the alt button, let's say that I just wanted to duplicate a certain portion of my clip, let's say the audio track for example. Instead of selecting the whole clip and holding down option, as you can see these are linked, so my video and audio track are both being duplicated. All I need to do is hold down alt as I select just the audio portion of my clip and then I can drag the audio down and only the audio portion of my clip is duplicated. I'm gonna show you guys another trick that I use quite often and it saves me a ton of time. This is another keyboard shortcut using the alt button and it's basically a ripple delete. So. Um, let me show you typically what you would do if you wanted to delete this clip in the middle, for example. Um, if I hit the delete button, you can see that now there's a gap right here in my timeline. So it goes from playing video to black, just a black space right here to the rest of my video. So when you, um, instead of doing what I just did, if you hold down alt as you delete, then not only is it going to delete your clip, it's also going to automatically fill the gap that was left from that clip with whatever was at the end of your sequence. Whatever edits you had made after the clip that you just deleted will slide forward to fill that gap. That's a really quick and easy keyboard shortcut that I use all the time. You do have to be careful with it. Make sure that when you do that, you're not getting any of your audio or video tracks out of sync with each other. But if you just have a simple edit like this right here, um, it will save you a ton of time once you get some practice and start using it a lot. All right, guys, that is it for today's really quick tutorial. I hope you learned something new. I hope this makes you a quicker and more efficient editor. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment box below. Thanks for watching.